Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Today, we will discuss AdMath's paper 2 for 2025 FM paper. Before we start, please help me to like, subscribe, and share to your friends that need this video. So remember, paper 2 is a calculator paper, so that's why they specify non-exact numerator answers must be in three significant figures or one decimal places for angle in degree. If high, then you can directly use your calculator value. Question 1 is circle. The circle have the center here, and then radius is 5. B is such that AB is a tangent, so here is 90 degree. OB length is 13. That means here is 8. Find the angle of AOB. We just use Sokato. AOB is here. This is adjacent. This is opposite. This is hypo. So we have adjacent and hypo. We use cos. Adjacent over hypo. Answer is 1.18. Must be in radian. Part B. The perimeter of the shaded region. So to find AB using Pythagoras equals to the hypo squared. Then to find this curve using R theta. 5 times 1.18, 5.9. And then here we know it's 8. Parameter equals to the sum of these three. 25.9. Last, you need to find the area of the shaded region. So this question is quite straightforward. You just use the triangle minus sector. Here is 5, here is 12. We just use half base times height. Here we just use half r squared theta. Done, first question. Second question, part A is under differentiation, find stationary point. Part two, that is under the cubic graph. So we start the first part, U and V. Since this one is power one, so I just expand it. Then du dx is negative one. Then we can find our dy dx, this time this, plus this time this. Stationary point means dy dx equal to zero. We do factorization to solve this. x plus 2 is the common thing, so we can extract it out. Then this part, minus x minus 2. Then this part, we left 3 minus 2x. x equals to minus 2, or x equals to 1 over 3. They only request for x coordinate, so gain all four max. Part B, they want us to sketch this graph. We can find the intersect point from here. They're already in factorized form, so we can directly say 3 minus 2x equals to 0. x equals to 3 over 2. Here, x equals to minus 2. We know this is power 2, so this is also the turning point. After this, we need to find y intersect point, which means x equals to 0. So it is 6. And since the turning point is at x is 1 over 3, so a turning point is here. This is the first turning point. From part one, we know the second turning point is at a positive side. Like this, you gain full mark. We clearly label all the intersect point correctly. Part C, they ask us to find the value of k. It has three real and distinct root. k is our y. So we know it's a horizontal line. So we need to check which horizontal line will give you three real and distinct root when y is here. Below this, it will have three real and distinct roots. It's actually in between these two. We already know this is zero. So in x equals to 1 over 3. 3, 4, 3 over 54. So k is in between 0 to 3, 4, 3 over 54. Question 3 asks you to solve this equation. We found that there is x power 3 over 5, x power 3 over 5. We can replace it with a. Let a equals to this. So easier for us to count. Then we can remove the a by everything times a. 6a squared plus a equals to 12. Then remember to replace back your a with x power 3 over 5. Power throw there, we also swap upside down. Key in calculator, you get 1.62 because the question says correct to two decimal places. Make sure only 1.62. For this part, you get negative 1.97. If some calculator, if you directly key in, they give you maths error, then you can key in one by one. Power by five first, then cube root of the answers, then you get this answer. 
for some calculator, you can directly get answers. Some calculator you need to do separately. Question four is permutation and combination. They say a team of 10 players is chosen from 15 players. Find the numbers of different teams that can be choose if there is no restriction. So obviously this is combination 15 C 10 3003. Then they say the 15 players include three sisters who must not be separated. So this is the special candidate situation. The three sisters, we separate them out. Then the balance, 12 people will consider later. Must not be separated means either the three sisters, we choose all three of them, or we do not pick all three of them. If we already have these three sisters, I want 10 people. I already picked three of them. I still need seven more people. So it's C7. This C7, we can choose only from the balanced people. So it's 12 C7. If I do not choose these three sisters, I still need 10 people. So it's C10. These 10 people also choose from the balanced 12 people. Done. So usually part one combination, part two would be permutation. Six digit number is obviously a permutation. You have 10 numbers to pick from. Cannot start from zero. The front position must be 1 to 9. Find how many 6-digit numbers can be formed if this number is even. The last position is important. You can only choose from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. When there are two restrictions, we need to check whether it is fully overlap, non-overlap, or mixed situation. 0 is not overlap, 2 overlap, 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 overlap. When got tick cross, it's a mixed situation. We must split them. Cross, we come here. The tick, we go another side. And then the front 1 to 9, we need to copy the entire thing. Then we can count as usual. So we always do start from the lesser number part. This is 0, so it's 1P1. This 0 would not affect the 1 to 9, so here is still 9P1. Then out of the 10 numbers, 1 pick from the front, 1 pick at the end. So we left 8 more numbers to pick from. Pick 4 of them. And then here, 2, 4, 6, 8 is 4P1. No matter which number we choose, it will affect here. Instead of 9P1, we'll reduce to 8P1. Then again, we pick one from the front, one from the back. So we left eight numbers to pick for the middle four numbers. 68880. Done. Question five, straight line equation. They tell you the y-axis is this, x-axis is this, and then the gradient given. And then it passes through this point. So they ask us to find the y in terms of x means find a straight line equation. y is 5.85, x is 4.3. So c is 18.75. y, which is my ey, m is minus 3, x is x squared, c is 18.75. Then they want y must be the subject, so we throw e to the right, we become long. Done first part. Then we see part B, find the value of x for which y axis. For y axis, the baby of lawn must be more than 0. Divided by minus 3, we do it as equation. This relationship x is lesser than, so it's below it in between here and here. And not including because here is not including symbol. Question 6 is a differentiation question. This is a quotient rule. Differentiate long baby, we throw down, and then differentiate the baby times it. After gather this 4 in 4, we can find dy dx. This time this, minus this time this, divided by v squared. Done. Part B. Given that x increased from this to this, so we know that x is 2, small change of x is h. Ask you to find approximate change in y means small changes of y is what? So we substitute the x in dy dx. The h show that. Then you get these two marks. Okay, part C, they say, given that y decreasing by 0.4 unit per second, so dy dt is decreasing by 0.4, Find the corresponding rate of change of x. Means that dx dt is how much? When x equals to 2. So rate of change, we use chain rule. dx dt equals to dx over something times something over dt. The info that we have is dy dt. So here is dy dy. dx dy. 
when x is 2, already we find the value for dy dx. dx dy is the reverse of it. And then dy dt is negative 0.4. So dx dt is negative 4.71. Question 7 under function, they give you this equation and then give you g. They ask you to find the least value of a so that the function g f axis for g f axis the range of f it must be able to fit into the domain of g so the thing that we know is domain of g is x more than one so which means the range of fx must be equals to one and then they already says x is more than or equal to zero so we can replace my x as zero e power zero is one so we can confirm a is minus one then for part b in the case of a equals to 5, solve the equation of g f x equals to 3. f is this. Then we substitute in. Remove square root is square. x equals to ln 5 over 2, 0 0.916. The question 8 is trigonometry. It appears in both paper 1 and paper 2. First part, they ask you to show this thing can be written in this. We directly apply first step. Everything changed to sine and cos only top part already form sine cube. Bottom, we join them into single fraction. We make them same denominator. We divide by this. And this thing is 1. Cos squared theta over 1. And then here and here, cut, cut. Successfully shown it. Part B, hence solve this equation. This and this is same. So we can write it sine cube. But the baby from theta changed to 3x. So here we follow 3x. First step, Cube root of 1 over 8 is 1 over 2. According to ASTC, we have two answers at A and S here. King calculator is 30 degrees. First value is 30. Second value is 150. Both value accepted and you found that this 50 is too far away from 180. So these two value that get from your ASTC we plus 360. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. All four positive values are accepted. And 170 is already very close to 180, so we can stop for the policy part. Then we go for the negative region because they request for negative 180 also. The first negative angle is from here to here, which is 210 degree, but in opposite direction. Second negative angle is 330 degree in opposite direction. So after divide by 3 would be negative 70, fulfill the criteria. Negative 110, also fulfill the criteria. So at last, we have 6. Values are accepted for this five mark question. Question nine is about kinematic. They tell you P move to a straight line, passes through a fixed point of O. The displacement is given. So every time we see this SVA type question, I will write down SVA information. S is given. For part A, they say find the value of T for which P is instantaneous rest. Instantaneous rest means V equals zero. So we need to find what is V. We need to differentiate baby become denominator. Differentiate baby will become 2. Then instantaneous rest means v equals 0. We solve this. t is half. Next, find the distance travel between t equals to 0 and t equals to 2. So we just use displacement equation. Why they ask part A first? Because they say instantaneous rest means when time equals to half, they change direction. So when the distance involves changing in direction, we need to separate different directions distance. So from t equals to zero to t equals to half is one direction. And then they change direction from t equals to half to t equals to two. So we find separately s half minus s zero to count the distance for this first part. Long 1 is 0, 5 times 0 is still 0. The second half, S2 minus S half. S half we know is this. Key in calculator. This part also we key in calculator. Total distance, we just sum the magnitude. Do not add this negative because it's just showing you to go in another direction. So the answer is 3.88. We go to part C. Find an expression for acceleration from here to here is differentiation. 
we rearrange this first. A is negative 10, 2t plus 1 power minus 2 times 2. So part C done. Part D asks you to find acceleration when time is 4.5. Just subs in. Negative 0 0.2. Done. Question 10, binomial expansion. When there is two bracket, we finding the relationship. So the first thing is we need to ensure everything power one, not power four, not power three. So we need to expand both of them for this part. 4 times minus 2 minus 8. In calculator times minus 2 squared. Remember, if you confirm, become positive. So 24 a squared x squared. And then same go to this. Then we find the relationship between this and this and compare with this. After you relate these two equations, it will form the first three terms of this. It's the coefficient of x4, x power 3, x power 2. So we can use x power 4 to start first. Okay, we start from the first equation. We know that a power 4, x power 4 can pair with 1 to form x power 4. This is x power 3. If it's paired with this, will be x power 2. Paired with this, will be x power 1. They do not have any pair. Same to this, no pair to form x power 4. So this thing equals to 81x4. So answer is 3. Next, we compare the coefficient of x power 3. A4x4, we need to pair with this so it can remove one of the x, become x power 3. And then this, pair with this because it already have x power 3. Then this x power 2 cannot find any pair, so leave it. So this equals to 999. B is 5. Then at last we compare x power 2. x power 4 need to pair it over x power 2. Negative 8. Need to pair it this. Plus 2, 4a squared x squared. Need to pair it 1. Equals to cx squared. So we subset in. Just like that, 10 marks. Last question is again trigo. This year have a lot of trigo question and ask you to solve again. So cotangent is just one over tangent. Swap upside down for both. Tangent is a positive. We know answers is at A and T. With key in calculator, we get 0 0.3218. So the first answer is this. Second answer is here. Pi plus 0 0.3218. 3.463. We check back that 1 from 0 to 6, so we reject the negative answer. And then this 1.96 is too far away from 6, so the 2 STC angle also we plus 2 pi to check whether any extra angle you need. This plus 2 pi is... 6.605. This plus 2 pi is 9.746. So both also minus 1.5. 5.11 need to be accepted. 8.246. This already exceeds 6. So we reject it. So these two answers are our final answers. And this whole paper we have done. Okay, that's all for today's paper. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. And if you have any question, you can always comment here. I hope you learned something from here. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.